Clark with your local news briefing. Thankfully, there were no new cases of COVID-19 on the Limestone Coast again in the last reporting period. But Premier Stephen Marshall is still encouraging those on the Limestone Coast to get on with COVID vaccinations if they haven't done so already. There's plenty of appointments now. You don't even need to book in in South Australia at the moment. You can turn up at our one, one of our mass vaccination clinics. They'll take you straight in. It's very simple uh, exercise and you'll be protecting yourself uh, and your family. SA is expected to hit 60% double vaccinated this week, but we're still some way off the 80% target needed to ease border restrictions. The projectors will continue rolling at Oatmill Cinema Complex thanks to a $60,000 grant from the federal government. It comes from $20 million set aside for supporting cinema's retention and endurance and enhancement of neighbourhood screen fund. Shane Fullwood owns Oatmill Cinema Complex and he says it's a lifeline they needed to stay open. It's actually been incredibly timely just to actually keep our doors open for the last three months and also be able to plan confidently that we can open up, well, now Christmas time when we expect all our films to uh, come back online again. Good news for food and wine lovers. Our very own Limestone Coast Wine Show kicks off tomorrow. And 2021 is a big year for the celebration. It marks the 20th anniversary of the event. It's on until Thursday, running out of Panola's Rimmel Hall. <coughs> To sport, confusion around COVID-19 restrictions continues and this time it's affected one young girl and her netball. Limestone Coast Community News reports 12-year-old Annalie Anderson was turned away from a clinic in Adelaide because she was travelling from Mount Gambia. A government website spread false information the Mount Gambia Council was under Level 5 lockdown restrictions when really it was Level 3. No travel restrictions are in place for the region but Netball SA told the family the young athlete wasn't permitted to attend. Australia Australia Post is doing everything they can to safely and quickly deliver for Australia. To easily track and control your deliveries, download the Australia Post app today. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, One and John. This is SAFM Weather. Light winds on the Limestone Coast this evening as we drop to 6 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, 18. Wednesday, clouds increasing, 24. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.